Hi everyone, Bobby Laporte here again with my weekly leadership tip for your best next move, where I help you see continuing curveballs as an opportunity. This year, my goal is to help you actively use your personal agency to accelerate what you want to accomplish in 2022. So over the years, I've often shared lessons learned from the sports world for today's leaders, like the value of discipline and perseverance, of bouncing back from failures, and of relying on the team. There are many parallels to excelling in sports and being an effective leader. But this week, I want to share something that's related, but a little more subtle. If you're a sports fan, you know that this is NBA playoffs time. <clears throat> and with a two-year absence during COVID, plus a season where there is such strong parity across the league, we're seeing some great playoff action, including the recent series between the Golden State Warriors and the Denver Nuggets, which the Warriors won but not without a tough fight. And in that series, <clears throat> there was one particularly personal battle between the Warriors power forward, Draymond Green, a never given defender, feisty, outspoken, a man of many talents, <clears throat> excuse me, who wasn't shy about showing and speaking about them versus Nikola Jokic, the former MVP of the league, the Nuggets big, strong, bruising center who dominates, at least it seems like every play, unguardable. So it isn't surprising that this would be a battle. They clearly are fierce opponents. They don't like each other. They're in each other's face all the time. They contest every move, but they do respect each other. And after the Warriors won the series last week, <clears throat> the camera showed Draymond having an earnest post-game conversation with Nicola. When asked what they spoke about, Draymond replied, I thanked him for making me better. Hmm, that surprised but also impressed me. Why? Well, because in the face of intense competition with a lot of money and careers at stake, athletes still have respect for the skills and talents of others, for what they bring to the game and for what they can learn from each other. And also because of the times we're living and leading in where no one leader has all the answers, where our challenges that the companies are facing are more complex than ever, we need to rely on the skills and assets of others. We can't default to our ego that says we know best or to fear that others will think less of us if we admit that we need help and to acknowledge that we can still learn from others. So here's my tip. Recognize that holding a beginner's mindset is the gateway to improving all of our skills and effectiveness. So each day, Consider some curveball you're facing that you are not confident you can handle with your own experience and skill set. And then ask yourself the question, who can you call on for advice, for input and guidance? Letting them know that you believe they might have the key to helping you overcome a particularly challenging situation. And this request accomplishes two things. One, by asking that person for help, you acknowledge that you acknowledge, excuse me, that they have a special experience or gift. That is reason enough to ask. <clears throat> and two, you show vulnerability to recognize that you need help. And that is one of the first steps to leading through uncertainty. And as a bonus, you can always thank them for helping you to be a better leader. Thank you, Draymond. <laughs> okay, that's my tip for this week. For more help on using your personal agency to make uncertainty, a part of your success strategy in 2022, check out my new book, When the Curveballs Keep Coming, a leadership playbook for an uncertain world, and my new online course, Leading Through Uncertainty. <clears throat> and go Warriors. All right, everybody, have a great week. I'll see you next Monday.